The second intermission is brought to you by Tria Orthopedic Center, bringing innovation to patient care for extraordinary results. Breck is trying to win their 25th game of the season. Marshall is trying to win their 22nd. They have some work to do because they trail by a score of 4 to nothing. Welcome back to the State Hockey Tournament at the XL Energy Center. I'm with Roger Dyer, who wrote this book. It's called Scarlet Ice. It's about an amazing season and an amazing team from Mankato West. Tell me about this book and what inspired you to write this book, Roger. Well, Joe, uh, at the time, 1994-95, I was a sports writer in Mankato, uh, Minnesota, working for the Free Press out of Mankato. Cato, and I covered high school hockey, and uh, so I uh, I saw all the Mankato West home games. Uh, the Scarlets that season, no disrespect, they were they were challenged. Uh, very young team, only three seniors. Uh, they were up against it virtually every game. They finished the regular season with three wins, and uh, uh, they got up into the section. Uh, playoffs against New Alm, which was the number one seed. Uh, during the course of the season, the Mankato West season, there was an outbreak of meningitis in late January of 1995. Uh, one of the players, 15-year-old sophomore John Janaveras, uh, tragically lost his life through a uh, 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 result of that outbreak. Uh, his teammates, when they got into the section finals, dedicated uh, uh, that game to uh, uh, young John Janaveras. And New Alm that season was loaded. Uh, they had gone to the section semifinals the year before. They had the number one uh, goal scorer in the state, and Dave Larson playing for them. And a lot of they were they were experienced, they were talented, uh, and they, they were ready to get go, uh, go to the state tournament. But the, the game that, uh, that Mankato West played on February 23rd, 1995, uh, to honor John Janivers is the most remarkable hockey game I've ever seen, and uh, I've been I've been watching hockey for more than 50 years, and it was uh, it was spiritual poetry on ice, I, uh, and, and it was a tremendous tremendous hockey game. A second miracle on ice for Minnesota, so to speak. And I've uh, I've read some reviews, and the reviews are saying it's one of the best hockey books ever written. Uh, well, uh, thank you for that. I, I uh, the people uh, who who have read it. Uh, uh, tell me that they're emotionally moved by it. Uh, John Janaveras' parents, Basil and Linda Janaveras, gave permission to the doctors who worked to save his life. And Joe, when I was in, uh, in, my, in J school, in journalism school, uh, I was taught that the best thing that a sports writer can do is take the reader by the hand and take him into the locker room, take him on the bench. And I tried to do that uh, uh, both in a hockey sense and when John was struggling uh, to fight for his life at Emanuel St. Joseph Hospital. It's called Scarlet Ice. I'm sure you can get it at the regular book outlets like Amazon and so forth. Amazon.com. You can get it at ScarletIce.com. And, uh... All right. We appreciate it. Scarlet Ice. We'll be right back with more from the X.